only one place to start. Um, I don't know what the right words to describe it. A monumental error, would that be close at Tottenham that saw a Luis Diaz goal incorrectly ruled out for offside? Uh, PGMOL, the referee's body, released a statement after the match saying a significant human error was made. The goal should have stood. Dermot, can you explain to, to us in here and uh, importantly the, the people watching at home how VAR got this so wrong? Hmm. I think um, lack of focus, lack of judgment by the VAR um, didn't, didn't check what the on-field decision was subsequently made a decision based on what he thought rather than what he was told um, allowed the game to restart once it restarted the damage was done okay so just to clarify and, and, and make sure that, that I, I don't assume anything it was the wrong call a hundred percent okay we, we all know that okay I just wanted to make sure of that because Liverpool have uh, released uh, a response and uh, these are the key points from what they have said. And here we are. Uh, so, in a statement, uh, they have claimed uh, that the controversy undermined the integrity of the sport. Dermot, what do you make of that statement? I don't understand what that means, to be honest. Sorry. I, I seriously don't. It, it was a mistake. Um, referees make mistakes all the time. And, you're saying it's 25 years birthday yesterday at Sky. You can find loads of mine. You know, they were made honestly, um, but it was a mistake. It, it's a very, very bad mistake. There's no doubt about that, but it's a mistake. It's not done deliberate. OK, I've got, I've got to say that these are our lines that we've drawn on just to show that it was. These aren't the PGMOL lines that were drawn on. That's Stephen. Um, Dermot says he, he doesn't understand what that statement means. But the idea of questioning the integrity here is quite some comment from Liverpool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a big statement. Um, I think, like you say, it is an error by a human. I don't think it's... Um, it's not as black and white as people make out it to be. Um, listen, don't get me wrong, it is wrong what's happened. I think my big thing with that incident where you're talking about there is why hasn't someone else in the VAR room overseen this? That's the big question I think people are asking how it gets to this situation. OK, so if we do the timeline here, Dermot, what we are led to believe is that the... As we saw from the pictures, this isn't what we're led to believe because we've seen it as fact, that the goal was ruled out on field for offside. It then goes to a VAR check. Uh, what we are led to believe is Darren England, who was the uh, VAR official in there, uh, misunderstood and thought the goal had been given. When he saw that it was an offside, all he responded with was check complete, mm. thinking that the goal had been given. It was only after the restart that they realised it was offside. So this is the idea of human error being involved in here. But what Liverpool... Uh, 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 I don't want to put words in their mouth, but by saying the integrity was undermined, it's the whole process of VAR that they are questioning and that, that, that there is huge fallibilities in here. Would you agree with that on the evidence of what happened this weekend? Right. Uh, offside on field decision without VAR still would have been offside. VAR is there to check every goal. He, I didn't realise it was Stephen Tom earlier this morning I checked, I didn't realise that he thought it was a goal. He obviously for some reason felt a goal had been given on the field. Um, he's then checked Sin is onside and said check complete. But he has a colleague with him. He has another colleague who's an AVR, who's an assistant, a specialist in offside judgment, who that's what people can't understand is why he didn't intervene and say to Darren, well, look, I can see the assistant's flag for offside. So there's two people there. There is people there to do that. So this escalates, doesn't it, from an error by Darren England, who's taken the big hit, to he's got a colleague sat alongside him who should also have flagged that up. That's what he's there for, you know, to... That's the process. And I would think in a situation like this, that I, I was stunned on Saturday. It was the toughest day I've ever had at work on match days because you're trying to explain to people what's happened. You're trying to explain the process. 
but you're trying to second guess what happened because you have to bear in mind they're in a different um, location to what I am. I'm looking at pictures and that's what I can't process is one has made that error and the other has allowed it to happen. OK, I, I'm not skipping over point two, but I think what we're talking about here actually relates to point three a bit closer here because in Liverpool's statement, they go on to say that the PGMOL's labelling of the incident a significant human error is unacceptable. Yeah. Now, you have both said that it was human error. So, Sue, um, let's come to you. I mean, these are humans yeah. here. And, and the impact on their lives, they didn't turn up to that VAR booth and, <laughs> and think, OK, let's make a mistake today, did they? No. So, is... is the labelling of it as significant human error unacceptable to you because in the Premier League, the, the greatest league in the world, we expect very high standards. They have fallen short, but we're all human. Yeah, and I think that's a frustrating thing that often on here we talk about offsides and we go, well, we can't argue with that because the offsides are, are normally correct because the lines are drawn. And Whereas this is something completely different, isn't it? This is human error. This is... I agree with them in fact of, OK, so one person gets it wrong, but then you've got an assistant in there. Because that's what I wanted to know, what the process was. So what happens when it goes from there to then it goes to the VAR? And I understand that process, but I can't understand how both have then got it wrong. But then how do you then put it right after that? That's the other thing. So, OK, we've, we've got this decision wrong. The, they've told the referee, check complete. But then suddenly they, then th they must think, oh, we've made a real error here. What happens okay. then? OK, so Sorry, that, goes into, that goes into <laughs> the, the second point of unhappy play restarted so quickly with no subsequent intervention. However... That is covered in IFAB Rule 10, mm. isn't it, Dermot? Which reads as this. And actually, once they realised the mistake had happened and the game had restarted, they were powerless under the laws of the game to do anything about it. Is that correct, <coughs> Dermot? Uh, partly. Uh, um, that is correct, what you say. Um, if, if I stop the game for whatever reason, I give Stephen a penalty and then my assistant says no, uh, it's, not a, it's not a penalty because Sue didn't foul him. I can change my mind. I can change my mind up until I restart. When I restart play, that's it. It's decision over, you carry on. Um, what I have... Uh, Steve was very, very kind to me. He, he, you illustrate to me about this decision, how it came about. I, I had no knowledge of that before you told me. So since that, I've drilled down and spoken to people and found out <laughs> what you told me is absolutely accurate. He, he did think it was a goal. That, that's where the fundamental error occurred. But I've been assured at no point ever did he then tell the referee that he'd made a mistake. So the referee did not know from minute 34 to half time. But, but that's wrong, isn't it? It may be wrong, but he didn't tell him. No, I know, but, and, but we're talking about human error again, and we're talking about the integrity of the game. Now, the integrity of the game is Liverpool have scored a legitimate goal. Mm. Now, this is where the rule book goes out the window. And I know everyone will go, oh, no, it shouldn't go out the window. It should, to keep the integrity of the game, where common sense comes into it. And you go, Simon, we've messed up. Not you, we have. Because you've made Simon Hooper look at a fool on TV and, and to the, the world who are watching football. We've made an error. You need to atone for this error. The way of doing that could simply be walk to the side of the pitch, blow the whistle, walk to the side of the pitch and say to the managers... Both managers come in, both captains come in. I've made an error, or the VAR have made an error. This is what has happened. This would have took two, three minutes to do, but you get the right decision and you say to them, it's a goal for Liverpool. What my recommendation is to atone for this error is to do a bounce of the ball and allow Liverpool to score. And after the game, even at half-time, an announcement is put out by the PGMOL straight away with social media these days, with the TV, that would have been round in 10 seconds and everyone would have gone, amazing, right, we know what's happened, we know where we stand. Whereas now, they've made it look an absolute mess. And it really is a mess. Yeah, I, I, I can't deny that. And that's a great solution. But the trouble is, the solution is not possible because it's great in theory, but in the laws of the game, the referee is powerless to do that. He cannot 
do that. It, there's no way in the law, there's no caveat, there's nothing that says common sense says this, uh, the weight of the world says this. There's nowhere in law that he can do that. So the minute he does that, he has then broken the laws of the game and he has then undermined his own integrity and credibility because the FA will charge him with failing to apply the laws so, correctly. So what's the difference between that and the Bielsa one where he allowed Leeds to score? Because Bielsa triggered that himself. That was nothing to do with the referee. Bielsa told his players to allow Aston Villa Yeah, but he was it. the one who pulled the referee across, wasn't he? And spoke to the referee. But the referee can... But however, OK, so for hypothetically speaking, say if Klopp says to Simon Hooper, you've got that completely wrong... Well, it have would... to come from Poster Coglu, I would think, if it's Bielsa with... No, no, well, yeah, but I understand Klopp's point of view, but I think the response would have been, I'm not speaking to you, whereas it, it, it can't be like that... When it's a legitimate goal, it's unacceptable. It's completely unacceptable that that has a, the, the game's being allowed to be played on. I mean, I've never seen anything like this, and it's almost been well. It's a human error. It's accepted. It can't be accepted. I, I get all that, Steve, Stephen. I get all that. you make so many great points and so many points. I'm a football fan. Remember, you, you've known me so. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, I understand that. And I know all about credibility. I know all about integrity. I know about everything about that. But if I was that referee that day, I am powerless to do that. I might want to do it. But do you not think the integrity of the sport would have got more plaudits for doing that? I know you're talking about the laws, mm. but the laws almost have to go out the window for that split second to go. You, you think it would have been better now, hypothetically? We're talking about this hypothetically, but if, if, if this had gone to Howard Webb after the game and Howard Webb gone, you've done that wrong You've made a mess of that. Or do you think he'd rather deal with what we're dealing with now? Do you think what would have been easier to deal with for Howard Webb and for everyone surrounding the game to get the decision correct on the pitch, even if it was not in, within the, the actual law of the game, or to, to let it roll out like we're rolling out now? I think Howard Webb would have gone, do you know what? You, you've actually took a bit of common sense into it. You'll get a slap on the wrist because it isn't the laws of the game. However we've got the right outcome at the end of it and we're going to learn from it, but we've got away with this one at this time because you haven't got away with this. No. Because this is completely wrong. I think the, the only thing that I can say at that, that I can say for the referees, and I say the referees collectively because you've got to learn from it. Whatever happens to Miss Stephen, there's no way ever this can ever happen again. You know, I made mistakes, I get penalties, it weren't penalties, I didn't get penalties, it were and I did it. I, 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 I repeat I that. I get question. that as well. But However, this can't but, happen again. But Dermot, now the, the integrity of the PG, of the VAR has been thrown into doubt. There's no, there is, the, there's no confidence whatsoever in VAR at the moment. None whatsoever. And it's been heightened by this incident at the weekend. However, if you had corrected it and got it correct, you'd have gone, well, at least they've done the right thing. Whereas they haven't done the right thing and they've done it and they've pre not protected themselves, but they've got it completely wrong. Whereas if you'd have made that decision, suddenly that confidence would have been built within 20 seconds, 30 seconds of the incident. I'd just like to have known when they realised that they'd made a mistake, because would they not have had time then to say to the referee, look, we've made an error here? So before the restart, could they not have then said, actually, I've made a mistake, it was a goal? But even if it's 10 seconds after time, the restart... But, it was, it, it, but, I mean, was yeah. there not time before? Well, they're saying a, there wasn't, wasn't there? But it, ah, it, right. was the re, it was the retake that alerted them, because they would have expected a kick-off. Yeah. Oh, right, OK. So they see an offside free kick, and that's what's triggered in his head. Right. Why is he kicked off from there yeah. rather than centre okay. circle? And that's what triggered it. And well, that, we, that's where the damage right. was done. OK, OK. Right. Um, we've got two more uh, issues on that statement, which are quite big ones uh, to tackle. So, uh, let's go to the second from bottom. They want improvements from their statement, they say, to process... Uh, to prevent repeat of situations. So what needs to happen? What improvements need to be in place? Because, as you were saying, there is a safeguard there. There's not only the VAR, there's the video assistant referee as well in there. So you should have that safeguard in place. So what improvements could be put in? Uh, I think just to reaffirm what the process is, reaffirm what they've got to do, what their responsibilities are, and make sure that people... Um, take part in a decision. 
you know, that they're there to take part in decisions, they're there to understand and process it correctly and drill down to everybody that this has got to happen. It's got to go one, two, three, four, five to completion. And it's no good thinking, well, we want to be quick, we want to get the game restarted. If it takes an extra 30 seconds, which this might have done, that 30 seconds might have stopped um, me having to stop till 12.15 today. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's our it's our, our pleasure. Um, the other thing, I guess, in this one thrown into that one is is many Liverpool fans have pointed out what looks on the surface to be a similar incident, Brighton against Manchester United from three years ago, but actually there was a significant difference in yeah. this game, wasn't there? Yeah. The, the Just mo- talk us through what happened and why this was different. Uh, the Mopay handball, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, just as the referee is coming to the conclusion of the game, Mopay punches the ball. The referee didn't see it. And the VAR said, when he blew the whistle, said, you can't ask the players to leave the field of play because I'm still checking an incident that occurred within that time. He checked it. It was handball. He gave a penalty, which people say is after time. Well, it wasn't because the incident occurred within the time frame and the game can be extended for a penalty. So the players were told to stay on the field and the penalty was taken correctly. So the difference was the game hadn't restarted. Absolutely. Naturally, this is the end of the game. Yep. But if it had restarted, that, that was... OK, so thank you for clearing that one up. OK, the last one here, which is really fascinating, uh, and they say they're exploring a range of options giving clear need for escalation and resolution. OK, so what options are available here? Um, I don't know what options they'll be exploring. It, it, is, it hasn't said, has it? You know, that's, that's what they've put. I, I have as much information as you, Rob, you know, I'm, and I'm not going to speculate. He has, okay. got, he has got previous, though, Howard Webb, hasn't he, with replaying a game out in America. So there was an incident in a game where the wrong decision was made. They admitted to the wrong decision and asked for the game to be replayed. Now, I'm not saying that that will happen, but you think, well, if he's done it for one game, how does he then not do it for another game? And that'll be interesting if they were to bring that point up um, when he was out in America. Yeah, that was a different country, different competition. Um, this is the Premier League. I don't know what their rules are regarding this, but yeah. as we say, we speculation at the moment. Mm-hmm. I think one thing is clear on that bottom one, Sue, is, is that Liverpool aren't, uh, and perhaps understandably, it's not for me to speak for Liverpool and, and their fans, but you can see from that bottom one that they're not willing to just let this go now. No, they're furious, and, and rightly so, um, because it could cost Liverpool a top four place. It could cost them if they're challenging for the title. So they're looking at this game and going, actually, this could cost us a lot of money. So they're, they're rightly angry.